Hello, this is Rick from MathX, and today we'll be solving number 24 from the third, fourth grade Math Kangaroo of 2019. Now, since this is a third and fourth grade test, and this is number 24, this is actually the final problem on the third, fourth grade test, meaning that it should be harder than every other problem on the test. And while it isn't one of the easier problems on the test, I personally do not think it is the hardest. Because as I'm about to show you, this entire problem can be solved just by setting up one equation. Using this one equation, we can solve this so-called grand slam of the 2019 third, fourth grade math kangaroo, showing how just using some basic algebra can debunk the entire problem. Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into the problem. Emil started to hang up towels using two pegs for each towel as shown in figure one. He realized that he would not have enough pegs and began to hang up towels as shown in figure two. Altogether, he hung up 35 towels using 58 pegs. How many towels did Emil hang up in the way shown in figure one? So, looking at these two diagrams, we realize it displays two relationships between the number of towels and the number of pegs. In the first diagram, Based on the number of towels, we would have twice as many pegs, because in this way, Emil put one peg on each end of the towel, and there's two ends. So if there's T towels, then there would be two T pegs, and there'd be twice as many pegs as towels, basically. That's just what this expression is trying to say. In figure two, it's a little harder to grasp the concept, but just looking at a sample set, from this left towel to this right towel, we see that to hang up four towels, they use five pegs. So the relationship in the second diagram is T towels need T plus one pegs. So we see the relationship between the number of towels to the number of pegs in both of these diagrams. In the first one, for every number of towels, there'd be twice as many pegs. And then in the second one, for every number of towel, there's only one extra peg. So we know in total, he used these two strategies to hang up 35 towels using only 58 pegs. So, we can write an equation to find out the total relationship between the number of towels and the number of pegs. So let's keep on using T. Let's say that T is the number of towels used in figure one. If T is the number of towels used in figure one, then in figure one then, there'd be two T pegs. Now, since T is the number of towels in figure one, that means the number of towels used in figure two would be 35 minus T, because there's 35 towels total. So, there'd be 35 minus T towels, but since we have to add one to get the number of pegs, if we add 35 minus T and add one to that, 35 minus t plus 1 would give us 36 minus t. And then this would give us the number of pegs that we would use. In this case, it tells us that we would use 58 pegs in total. So we get that to equal to 58. Remember, in this definition of t, we define t 
to be the original number of towels used in figure one. So if we find out for T in this case, we'll find out what the question is asking for. How many towels did Emil hang up in the way shown in figure one? So then if we simplify both sides, 2T minus T would give us T plus 36 would equal to 52. We can subtract 36 from both sides. And then we would get, by subtracting 36 from both sides, we would get t is equal to 22. Meaning that Emil hung up 22 towels in the way he did in figure 1. Showing how easy this number 24 really is. To solve this problem, all we did was establish a relationship between the number of towels to the number of pegs in each of these two conditions. And then we set up an equation with t as the number of towels in the original configuration to try to establish a relationship between the number of towels to a number of pegs. And using this, we found our t to be number 22. This entire question was just debunked with a simple use of one equation, showing that if you really want to master these math king group problems, if you just practice some basic algebra, you can solve any problem. So that's probably a concept that you should put on to learning if you want to do good on these math kangaroo tests. Because some simple algebra can go a long way to solving a grand finale for a test. Thank you.